Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday. Joe for jazbeeshobbydown.com with a 10-box inner case break of 2017 Panini Contenders Optic Football. This is Pick Your Team number 19 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. There you go. There's Matt Garza. Last spot mojo. Thank you, sir. Detroit Lions. And there's everybody else. Thank you very much, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. So here is our 10 boxer right here, of Contenders Optic. This is a relatively quick break, fun break. This break should bring us pretty close to the top of the hour, ladies and gentlemen, at, which at that, that point, I know a lot of people wanted to do finest baseball, but that has to fill by the bottom of the next hour if you want that to happen tonight. So just keep that in mind. So we are we are running out of time. I didn't realize it got this late all of a sudden. We, you guys are keeping me busy. All right. Three, six, nine right here, and this box right here is ten. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Loving this football. I've got, ladies and gentlemen, I've got win totals for you. NFL win totals. Should we go through some of those? Maybe depending on what, what hits I pull. Maybe the on-card autograph will do the, do the win total. All right. There's Pierre Garçon. Season ticket. That'll be for the Niners, Adam Kupperman with the Niners. That's 34 out of 199. We got Demarius Thomas, Super Bowl contenders. That goes to Anderson with the Broncos. That's out of 99. Got base cards, AJ Green, and behind Devonta Freeman is Jeremy McNichols is your autograph Niners that goes to Adam Kupperman so what's the redemption then behind Devonta Freeman is bam Marshawn Lattimore rookie ticket autograph Marshawn Lattimore for the Saints that goes to EA Sports it's in the game with the Saints I think McNichols got traded to the Niners. Signed by Niners on the on September, early September. He must have gotten released. Marshawn Lattimore, your defensive rookie of the year last year. The Saints win total, ladies and gentlemen, with that nice hit there. Saints win total is nine and a half, according to Westgate in Las Vegas. What does everyone think? Over or under? Nine and a half. I think it'll be over. I think they're going to win like 11 games. We got Leonard Floyd for the Bears. Red. One eighty eight out of one ninety nine. We've got Earl Thomas the third, red. Rick says over on that, on the Saints nine and a half. I say over as well, I agree. Fifteen out of forty nine for the Seahawks. O three sports says over. There's Eli Manning, and behind Pierre Garcon is Kareem Hunt. Sweet Kareem's. Sweet Kareem's are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Daniel Batera does not disagree with the Kareem Hunt on card auto. Kansas City Chiefs, eight and a half. Over or under on that eight and a half? New quarterback. But they got Kareem Hunt. What does everyone think? Eight and a half on the win total. Over or under? And there's more Chiefs. 
Tano Saganya for the uh, for the Chiefs rookie ticket. So both autos going to Daniel Patera. I say I say the Chiefs go under eight and a half. Slightly though, I think they win like seven or eight games. I'd, I mean, I probably wouldn't put anything on that, but I think I, I, if I had to choose, slightly under. Hey, no worries, Dean. You have a good night, man. I'll see you uh, next week, Tuesday. We are off for the next couple nights. Blaster says ten. I feel like that's kind of a lot. Maybe I don't know. New quarterback, patch, patch. My homies, with ten wins. There's Andy Dalton, blue. That's thirty-six out of ninety-nine for the Bengals. Adam Kupperman. Geno Atkins, all pro contenders. Broncos QB, Case Keenum. Thirty-nine out of forty-nine. What about Panthers? Well, if we get a Panthers hit, we'll talk Panthers. There's Mitch Trubisky. Da Bears. Mike McCarthy. There you go. That's a nice hit. After swings and misses, Mike McCarthy grabs Da Bears and grabs Mr. Biscuit. Nice on card auto. There you go. Nice hit. Uh, Bears, Chicago Bears, are six and a half. Win total six and a half. Over or under? And there's Josh Malone. Rookie ticket. For the Bengals, that'll go to Adam Kupperman. Bears, six and a half. That's got to be under, right? I mean, I, I think the Bears are going to be a better looking team. I like Mitch Trubisky. I think they're going to be a good team. They're going to be competitive, but I think they're going to they're going to miss some games. You know, they're they're not they're going to lose some games. I say I say five or six wins, but they're going to look better doing it. Mike says, "Bear." Well, Michael McCarthy, aren't you a aren't you an Illinois? Aren't you a Chicago guy? We have, we have to make sure everyone knows everyone's fandom. But Bears over, solid D, keeps them in. There's Jamison Crowder. That's for the Redskins. That'll go to Scott V. 03 says he think Bears contend for the NFC North. Really? That's a hot take. 76 out of 199. And there's Jake Butt. He's a tight end. And George Kittle. 10 out of 10. That card is gold. I'll be a randomizer between the Broncos, Anderson, and the Niners, Adam Kupperman. Round five numbers. We'll set that right there. There's Terrell Suggs. There is Cameron Sutton, rookie ticket auto. For the Steelers, Michael Gallucci, seal curtain. And the on-card autograph is Taiwan Taylor. It's got a nice auto. Very clean. Nice auto. A Titans DVD with the Titans. There you go, Dustin. Titans over under eight. That might move a half game up or down by the time the season starts, but right now, or as of a couple weeks ago, it's at eight. Tennessee Titans eight in the AFC South. I would like this if this was seven and a half. I would take over. And I think they're I think they're right at eight. Probably end up passing on that if it stays at eight. All right, next box. Good luck. We got Greg Olson for the Panthers. That is for Robert Rohr, the Panthers. Eric Jennings saying Titans playoff team last year, so you say over. Nine wins. Defensive player of the year, Gerald McCoy. I don't know, Andrew Luck might be back, AFC South. 
Deshaun Watson's healthy. Jacksonville Jaguars. That's that's a tough division. Three out of ninety nine for the Buccaneers. That goes to Matt Appleby. There's Terrell Suggs and the card on the bottom is Greg Ward Jr. for the Fly Eagles Fly rookie ticket autograph for the Eagles. Adam Kupperman. And the on-card auto behind Beast Mode, behind Marshawn Lynch, is Juju Smith-Schuster. Nice, clean, efficient autograph. I love how the autos look on these cards. Michael Gallucci and his Steelers. Steelers win total. Steelers win total. Ten and a half. Ten and a half games, over or under. You, guys, you have this rookie with a year of experience under his belt. Big Ben, who's going to make sure Mason Rudolph doesn't learn the playbook. He's going to keep Mason down. I, you would think they have Le'Veon Bell squared away, right? Antonio Brown's still there. <laughs> Rick says under by three. Rick, what, what, what team are you a fan of again? Rick Hunt, on the record, under by three games, he says. I agree, William. I, William Mosher saying, I think AFC sounds going to be sneaky amazing next year. I think so, too. Uh, Robert, are you, are you saying over on the Titans or over on the Steelers? Eric Jennings, I think, was saying under on the Steelers. I think slightly under. And, and Rick, of course, saying three games under. He's a, he's a Cincinnati Bengals fan. It's just FYI. Grain of salt. There, there's Jimmy Garoppolo, red, 172 out of 199. So you said Robert Roars the Steelers over. Yeah, I mean, I could, I could see, I could see them over. There's MVP contenders, Bills. That's Lashawn McCoy, 97 out of 99 for the Bills. Scott McNulty. There's Adrian Peterson. There's Devontae Adams. On the bottom is Dietrich Wise Jr., rookie ticket auto. Uh, well, if I pull a Texans auto, we'll talk Texans win total. That would make uh, Mike McCarthy very happy. That would make you very happy, Mike. Who's asking for the Texans win total? Maybe this guy? No, that's John Ross III. Oh, gold! Gold for the Bengals. Adam Kupperman with the Cincinnati Bengals. We can talk Bengals win total, Rick. Rick, what do you think? The win total is at 7. This is 2 out of 10. Win total at 7. Over or under for the Bengals? I mean, if you argue that Andy Dalton is just having a couple down years, you know, if you think that maybe... Maybe they, you know, maybe they figure some stuff out. I feel like seven's a little low, isn't it? I wish it was six and a half. I'd take the over on six and a half. Rick says over, easy money. Eric Jennings says under. Deshaun Jackson, red, Buccaneers. That'll be for Matt Appleby. Fifty-three out of one ninety-nine. MVP contenders: Matt Stafford, seventeen out of twenty-five. Nice one for the Lions. That'll be Matt Garza. Eric James, how does Marvin Lewis keep his job? He's got uh, he's got blackmail, of course. Blackmail. So exactly, William and I are the same page. This, this is how Jeff Fisher had a job for so long with the Rams. Same deal. All right, uh, oh, let me show you the top one first, Devonta Freeman. We've got Hassan Reddick on the bottom, rookie ticket auto, and a redemption right there. And the redemption behind Zach Cunningham is, bam, Evan Ingram, rookie ticket RPS autograph. Sign your cards, Evan. Before camp starts, 
before the preseason starts. That goes to the New York Football Giants. That'll be for David Kist. Giants over under six and a half. I say over. I say Hall of Famer Eli Manning still has something left in the tank. I don't think that their offensive line is as horrible as everyone thought. Second half of the season was a lot better. Receivers, if Odell Beckham Jr. is healthy, you know, healthy Odell Beckham Jr., that's game changer right there. Evan Ingram, in, in spite of the fact that he doesn't sign cards, uh, great tight end, great pass-catching tight end, great athlete. They got Saquon Barkley. They've always needed a running game. All right, there's Tyreek Hill, red. <laughs> William's like, is that what redemption are players are too lazy to sign? Well, I wouldn't say too lazy to sign. Let's just say it's for players who don't return their autographs to the company in time. 169.9. But Evan Ingram's a, a, a constant offender. He's almost every other product he's been a redemption, so I think he's too lazy to sign. He probably has a stack of cards on his dinner table that he needs to sign. Uh, round seven numbers, Seahawks, Packers, Chris Carson, Devontae Mays, 23 out of 25. Seahawks, that'll be Cruz. Packers, that'll be Chris Boggs. That'll be a randomizer at the end. You like that, Kirk Cousins? We got, wow, nice. Offensive player of the year, Matty Ice, Matt Ryan. Nice offensive player of the year contenders. For the Falcons, Rick with the Dirty Birds. 13 out of 15. Nice. And we've got Curtis Samuel as the on-card auto. Well, we got two teams to talk about. These are two nice hits. On-card auto for the Panthers. That goes to Robert Rohr. Panthers over under nine. Over or under, nine. And I think Giants over, by the way. I agree with Eric Jennings, about eight or nine wins. Oh, that's this is exactly why I... I like when a case delivers like that, Rick. Rick's like, that's exactly why I bought them for this card. All right, Panthers, nine on that. That's a tough division. That NFC South is tough. There's nothing against the Panthers. I think they're a great team, but... I might have to say under on that. Yeah, maybe right about eight or nine wins, right? Right on for the Panthers. I would probably pass on that if that line stays that way. The Falcons are nine wins, too, with that Matty Ice. You know, nine wins for the Falcons. Um, I don't know what I don't know if they plugged up their holes via draft or free agency, but I would imagine that the the Falcons would be a good play. I think they're over. I think Falcons over. I think they win ten or eleven games. Ezekiel Elliott season ticket Cowboys blue. Rick says a push, so he says right about nine. Yeah, I'd like that if that if that went down to eight, and it's not going to go down to eight and a half, but seventy-seven nine ninety nine Ezekiel. If it goes down to eight and a half, I'd like that a lot. From our eight as Super Bowl contenders. Maybe. A couple years? I say through two or three years. Raiders, Super Bowl contenders. Oakland Raiders, Ed Ram. Ed Ramos with that one. Three out of 25. Who was at a festival with Kendrick Lamar? And he was like, I didn't really understand what he was saying, but the kids seemed to be having a good time. Greg Olson. And Buck Allen. On the bottom is a redemption. And what's this? Samaj Pirine. Rookie ticket on card auto Samaj P Ryan that goes to Scott V and the Redskins. Redskins over under win total is seven. Over or under? They lose. They lose Kirk Cousins. We saw him a little bit ago. They lose. You like that? They add Alex Smith. They got guy. They got exciting guys like Samaj P Ryan. That's a tough to that's a NFC East, especially if the Giants are healthy and they're firing on all cylinders. That's a tough division. And the Eagles and the Cowboys. I say under. It's gotta be like six. You take it I, I would take under at seven. I take under at six and a half. 
Redemption is this hooker. Malik Hooker, rookie ticket autograph for the Colts. Stephen Kendrick Lamar with that one. There you go, Stephen K. Actually, I think he was having a great season too, right, as a corner? He was having a great season until like, he tore his ACL or Achilles or something crazy like that. Colts, Stephen K. Healthy Andrew Luck, if healthy. I think that Colts six and a half is really low. Doesn't it feel low, six and a half? Healthy Andrew Luck? They've got a decent team. I say over on the Colts at six and a half. That's my take. Well, that's true, Mike McCarthy. That's actually right. Is he healthy, though? Rick says under, tough division. Stephen K says over. Thomas Rawls. That goes to the Seahawks. That'll be for Cruz. Eric Jennings also says under. Stephen K, you and I are on the same page on the Colts. There's Carlos Henderson, Taiwan Taylor. That's another randomizer between the Broncos and the Titans, 25 out of 75. All right, last bit of hits here. There's Demarius Thomas. We got a redemption in the middle. We have Solomon Thomas, rookie ticket auto for the Niners, Adam Kupperman with that. Oh, interesting. William Mosher thinks that Josh, he doesn't think Josh McDaniels turns down the Colts job if luck is healthy. Or after he had a talk with Belichick, Belichick, the gun to his head. You're not leaving. <laughs> not leaving till I do. And the redemption, bam, C.J. Beathard, rookie ticket RPS autograph for the Niners. Niners, their win total feels awfully high with nine. Doesn't it? I say under. Pretty confident on the under nine wins for the Niners. Nine is way too high. All right, so a few randomizers to do. Let's set all that up. Good luck, everybody. Thanks, everyone, for joining this Pick Your Team break. That was a fun one. A lot of nice hits in this one. Good times, good times. All right, let's go to random.org. Let's get some new dice. First one is Broncos, Titans. The blue one was Seahawks, Packers. And the gold one, the lowest one, was Broncos and Niners. Let's randomize each one of those eight times. Three and a five, eight times. Good luck, everybody. One, or everyone who involved in this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Uh, stays with Denver, Denver Broncos. That'll be for Anderson. Anderson with the Broncos. There you go. You get the round three numbers. Three and a five, eight times for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven. And eighth and final time. There's eight. Flips to the Seahawks. That goes to Cruz with his Seahawks. Chris Carson, Devontae Mays, 23 out of 25, round seven numbers. And this gold one, round five numbers, Jake Butt, he's a tight end, 10 out of 10, and George Kittle. Three and a five, eight times for this one. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven and eighth and final time flips to the Broncos again. Broncos, Jake Butt, George Kittle, 10 out of 10. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks for filling this one up, folks. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.